Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be using some of the new Morphe holiday goodies to create these looks. So if you want to see how I made it happen, make sure you stay tuned. Today we're going to start with the eyes as usual because that's where I like to start. We're going to use the Morphe 350M palette which is a great fall palette but also great for the holidays. Um, as you can see I'm just going in with a very warm but neutral shade as our base crease color. We're going to build that up with a couple with two other warmer brown tones um, and then we're going to hop right in with the new holiday lip to lip shoppers lid toppers from Morphe. As you watch me add each individual color I start with a padding motion to add the colors in where I want them and I want the intensity and then you'll see me start to blend them out either with the same brush or with a fluffy brush and then I'll go add the next color in with a smaller brush but we do that same padding technique then we blend as you can see this is the third color and we're going in with the smallest brush you've seen me use Patting it in, doing a little bit of a sweep, and then we're going to go through and blend it. There you go. Doing a little bit of pat to help blend it, and then doing a little bit of a sweeping motion to help blend it through. But we also want to make sure we're packing the same intensity that we desired when we first started. Don't lose that intensity. You want to see this blend from dark to light as evenly as possible. Here I am just going in with my concealer and cutting that crease a little bit just so I know where I'm going to put these lid toppers. I'm actually using Maybelline's Master Conceal which has been my go-to for quite some time right now. But this doesn't have to be super precise. Just want to make sure the edge is cleaned up a lot better than what it was. And everything's a little defined. Here I am just put patting on like it's almost like an off-white or a cream, light cream color onto the lid just so that concealer is set. I really didn't want to put a wet lid topper on top of wet concealer. Then those would mix and then it would just look really gross. Here I'm just going back in with that darkest brown shade that we used with that same teeny tiny brush and I'm just making sure that line right above the cut crease is really defined and detailed. We don't want to lose that. Here I am going in with our second shade and just blending in the edges because we don't want to keep it that full half semicircle that we have going on here. I just want to blend in those corners with that same second shade that we had going on. So I'm just patting it and blending it in oh so gently so it blends real nicely before we put this lid top on. This is the first lid topper we're going to use. It is a metallic lid topper um, from the metallic trio and it is called Bewitched. I didn't want to go on straight with the, um, the wand just because I didn't want too much on. I didn't want it too thick um, and I wanted to have a little bit more control so I put a dab on the back of my hand and I'm using a brush and just patting it on gently where I want it. That way I have all the control in the world with what I'm doing with blending, making sure that crease 
keeps the cut crease stays real crisp and clean. Um, and I'm not putting too much on because I want to make sure these dried as well and nothing would stick and look weird because I have hooded eyes and you know, they can be difficult sometimes. So here we are just making sure we're keeping that intensity that they weren't see-through or anything like that. And I didn't miss any spots. Just want to go back in and blend those corners in just a little bit to see if we can make them blend. But once those lid toppers dry, they really don't budge. Um, but I just want to make sure that we don't lose any of the intensity we already had there and it didn't swipe anything. So I tried, but those lid toppers really don't budge once they're on, which is good. This is Poppin' from the Glitter Lid Topper Trio. Um, and with this one, I'm using a very detailed um, paintbrush, um, but I'm going in just so I have so much more control of this one. I just want to line that cut crease, and then we're going to go right down the center of the lid. I am sorry for not being in frame really well with this, um, but I use this brush just to thin it out just like we did with the other one, um, and put it exactly in the center lip we want it. Oh, you're back. There we go. Both eyes are now done, so let's finish up with the face. If you have not tried the CupGirl True Blend Foundation or this pure face sponge to apply your foundation, you guys are missing out. One, this foundation is amazing. I use it the whole week at Gem Beauty because I want to see how well it would last and stay on my face and I was hugging everybody and meeting everybody and it lasted all weekend it did not transfer and this sponge is great for applying it and giving me the most full coverage I've ever gotten out of a drugstore foundation so make sure you guys look into them they are both also amazing and also essential for everybody I swear Someone please tell me why I'm now just trying to shape tape. I got it in my Ipsy monthly subscription last month and I'm just now trying it and this is like life changing. I feel like I could like shape my whole world and hide things that I never could have hidden. Like battle wounds and vampire bites and dead bodies. I'm, I'm just saying. This stuff hides everything. Like everything Oh, that base girl. Let's get in and use Pop Beauty's Setting Powder Palette. I went in and used that translucent shade on my face today. I haven't used a pressed powder in I don't know how long. And I have to say, I was pretty impressed by the palette. Um, I felt like it kind of gave me off more of a white hue to my skin than a translucent. But maybe if that's because I was giving it more of a concentrated brush in certain areas and other areas, it was getting a big powder brush. It set well, it lasted um, really well on my face throughout the day, so I w it was good to go. So far, everything Pop Beauty's been sending me, I'm kind of loving. So, check these out too, these are pretty dope. And we got more Pop Beauty coming in this video for you guys, so hang on to your seats. And here she goes, here's Pop Beauty's Contour 101, and this is the matte one, 
they do have a matte and a shimmer. I use the blush shade first to contour and then I like to use the sculpting shade with a smaller brush to go in and deepen everything up just a little bit. Um, the blush shade isn't necessarily like an everyday shade for me. I would use it as a blush, but just not my usual shade. So I like to use both the blush and the sculpting shade to contour and sculpt up my face. The way I like it because I like to use multiple shades to give it all the the good dimension. But these um, pigments are pretty pigmented. They blend super well um, and they do really well with everything I've been using. And I've used them with different foundations, different setting powders, and different looks. And they've been doing miraculous. So another win for Pop Beauty. You go girl. The good old trusty Turk Cosmetics Amazon Clay Blush in Parte. These blushes are everything. You guys should have them. They absorb oil. I mean, they're Amazonian clay blush. This is what they do. That's their job. Here we are going with Morphe's Babe in Paradise Highlight Palette because this covers all skin ranges. I love it. It's blendable, it's pigmented, and it gives you the va-va-voom you need. And I love mixing the colors. I do that with highlight a lot. But anyways, you get the gist. Babe in Paradise. This is the Bretman Rock, um, what is it called? Collaboration, there we go. I couldn't think of the word. But I love this palette, it's amazing. Just like Morphe. And then today for the lips, we're using the Molten Magic 12 piece lip collection and we're going in with the shade Fierce. I had to get this lip collection, one, because lip gloss is just amazing right now. Two, these were gorgeous looking and I had to have them, had to try them. And three, they are at an amazing price. 12 glosses for 29 for a month. So here's the final look for you guys today. I want to give you my final thoughts and review on everything. The lip toppers are absolutely gorgeous. They dry down really well and still have the same color in the tubes. The only thing is I had one that kept sticking and I really couldn't fix it as it kept disappearing on me and cracking on one eye. Um, I don't know if it was the more layers, the worse it got, um, but it was just... A hot mess I tried two or three times and the lip glasses were absolutely gorgeous they don't stick they are slightly see-through so maybe if you wanted to have a little bit more bolder shade just put a little bit of a little liner right under it but overall the look came out really well I'm absolutely loving it thanks so much for hanging out with me and joining me I hope you guys learned something from this and you enjoyed it and all the new goodies we use because there's so much going on here make sure you subscribe to my channel to learn more about some new goodies and I'll see you in my next tutorial love you